Hi, my name is Charles Givery. I'm CEO and co-founder of Data Distiller. And today I'm going to show you how our AI assistant can help you ask questions of your data. So for our example today, we've connected to a Postgres database. And I'm just going to show you what we've got here. Um, you can see we've got this database called NoahDB. We've got four tables here, one that has customer information, one that has order information, then products and order items. So let's just start with, and let's just take a quick look here. Um, we're gonna just uh, take a quick look just so you see what this table looks like. Um, so we can see this, this table is, was, this was from a sample data set. And what's not ideal here is the, the city state zip is kind of bro is smashed into one column. And the name is also like, um, one column, so it's not ideal, but we can we can work with this. Now, um, let's say that, and then the orders table. Let's just open that up in a new tab and take a quick look at that. So, you can see what we've got here. <clears throat> and we just have you know oh, this is kind of just a typical relational table. We've got the total amount. We've got the date ordered and shipped. And then the customer ID and the order ID. So this is kind of you know your typical relational structure here. All right. So let's just start out with uh, not that. Let's start out here with let's just ask a question. Let's say um, show me uh, how many customers do I have? Okay. And let's generate that now. And let's run that. Okay, so we've got 11,080 customers. Pretty cool. All right, so let's try something a little bit more, a little bit more sophisticated. How many orders has each customer made? So what we're going to do here is we're going to ask it for, um, uh, yeah, we're going to ask it exactly that. How many orders has each customer made? Now to do this, we have to join these two tables. So let's see what happens. All right. And you can see the query that it generates. It has a name, it has a count, order ID, and it, it did figure out the relational structure here without any kind of prompting. So, so yeah, I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and there we go. So we can see that. Now, um, let's, let's do something a little bit more tricky. Let's say we wanna see me how much each customer spent. Okay. So here we have a, a new, so we're asked it how much um, each, cu each customer spent and let's run this and let's see. Okay. And now notice this is joining all four tables together. Let's try one more. Customers. Let's 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 do something a little trickier. Show me. Uh, let's say which customers have place the most orders. Okay. Let's run that. Wow. Okay. So again, with no prompting and no description of the data structure, it figured out um, it, it figured out the relational structure here and just kind of eyeballing this, it looks this looks correct. Um, it, so it's joining the, the customers table with the orders table. It's counting how many orders there are, sorting them, and then get, giving us the, the ones that, that have the most. So that in a nutshell is Data Distiller's um, new AI assistant. And I hope you will give it a try. Um, check us out at, at datadistiller.com. Thank you so much.